Hello everyone, this is Saril Pushpam and welcome to Sidecore Shades. So recently I got the opportunity to attend the Sidecore Content Hub Administrator course and that I learned a lot and I would like to share those details with you guys. So I just started this playlist and yeah, we can start that. So I'm going to use this Woolworth site for a example. So we can use this site and we can, um, we can start from here. If you are starting any of the task, first we will do the uh, requirement gathering, right? So in the so um, actually in the side code, we usually do the information architecture for um, maintaining the uh, components in the site. So the same way uh, in the content of first we need to what's our requirement. Then only we can go and we can use the uh, different features in the content of. My case, I'm going to use this Woolworth dot com.eu site and here you can see um, it's a it's a kind of we can we can browse the product and we can see the recipes and we can um, do the shopping also but i'm going to focus only on this recipe and ideas if you see here here i have a lot of uh, recipes and if you go to any of the recipe you can find the recipe details and here they have mentioned the preparation time and cooking time and the serves and the um, difficulty of the um, recipe and then here they have added the ingredient and the right side they have added the description and then methods so methods is um, for what are, the, uh, what are the steps we have to do for um, preparing this recipe and then here we can see the categories and here we can see uh, you might also like a uh, category section and uh, yeah uh, so here also i can see the similar suggest but i'm not going to focus on this section and Okay, so my uh, let's assume my client is Woolworth and they are saying me, hey Arul, uh, once we load the page, it's taking more time to load the image. Now you can see once you load that, it's taking few seconds to load the images. So where I can store the images and the another question is my content authors are really frustrated to find the images. Uh, because currently uh, we may assume this Woolworth is maintaining the images in any of the server and if they like to check the um, check the image for any of the uh, recipe like we can take the recipe here we can see the recipe uh, pineapple recipe so uh, if they like to change the image of pineapple recipe then it's very hard to find it in the server in the server if you use any file system and that also it's very difficult to find it and uh, in case if you are storing in any other Azure repository or any other thing definitely it may be complex to find the stuff so this is one of the problem with uh, content hub is resolving a lot of problem I am just uh, giving a sample example for that to understand everything in the content hub so it's the first issue to uh, maintaining all the assets and the next one is if i open the asset um, um actually sorry if i open the recipe and here you can see um uh, i can see the methods and i can see the ingredient uh, so that i can store these details um in case if my um client over is asking me to do the changes in these values then where i can do the changes um, the thing is, if you are using Psycho, then, then it's easy. We can directly go to the um, content tree and we can find this value and then we can find, uh, update our values in the items. And in the content hub, we have a um, option to store all of these values and I will show that to you. And yeah, uh, I think if I give all the information now, you may uh, confuse with others. So it's very good to start from the scratch. And then uh, once we start each and every feature, then you can easily connect those features with this site and you can easily use it for your project and your client. Uh, so um, in this case, first we need to uh, define the domain model. So the domain model is I'm just going to use the paint for so the first thing is recipe here you can see uh, my main hero is a recipe so i'm going to add the uh, recipe now so let's add a recipe here we have to define the type so we will do it later as uh, so now we can define our uh, required uh, properties we can see sorry uh first one is the recipe okay. 
font size okay first one is the recipe so here we can see each uh, each recipe has a ingredient so we can add the ingredient and then here we can see the preparation time cooking time and then serves so we can create these properties also and properties 10 minutes 45 minutes and 4 but here you can see the um, ingredient uh, here, the first one is the oil next one is the, um, the uh, next one is the chicken and they may add the vegetable also so it's better to uh, give the type first so the ingredient type it may uh, come with uh, vegetables and grocery items and then uh, meat items uh, this this way we can easily uh, categorize the, in the um, ingredient type and from there we can directly connect the ingredient with the um, appropriate type if it's oil then we can add it in the crossy items if it's a uh, chicken then we can add it in the meat item so for that we can directly create the ingredient type and then um, we can connect our ingredient so for that um, in the recipe we are directly connecting the ingredient and then we can find the ingredient from ingredient type yes so here ingredient and uh, here ingredient type and one recipe may have multiple ingredient right so um, we can give the link um, so the connection would be like this oh no uh, i i just like to use this one this one and this one one recipe may have um, multiple ingredient at the same time in, in case if i have an ingredient oil i may use the same oil ingredient with multiple recipes right so the connection is n to n so we can define the connection is n to n and then here uh, the ingredient is ingre ingredient and then ingredient type in case if i have an ingredient type is meat then the meat will connect with single chicken and the single uh, fish right uh, not a single um, if you say ingredient type is meat then you can imagine meat and then we can give the values like um, chicken and then fish so uh, the relation is single value so we can define single and bad so here the ingredient type it is which ingredient type of which and non which and then grocery right so in the which we can add um, our vegetables um, onion and then potato and then tomato and then non veggies chicken and then fish chicken and then fish and then grocery items we can add oil and some masala uh, so if you see here one which the type is which and it's connected with only one time for the onion uh, in case if you are using five onions the five onions case also we will use the which and onion connection so it's the single value the next one is um, we can directly find it in the direct values preparation and cooking and service serves and this um, preparation cooking and serves uh, preparation cooking time and then serves uh, this one we can directly add it in a single values and i will add quickly one and then two and then three so the first one is um, preparation time preparation time and let me um, in the let me change the font size it's really difficult yeah and then the next preparation time and then cooking and then serves um, so cooking cooking 
and then soaps, right? So, yes. And then next one is we can directly add the um, methods, but uh, in case if they add a multiple me methods here, so we can ignore this methods and then we can go to the category. The category now, go here, and we can add it here. Means the font size, this, yeah. Mm. Okay, I should add it in the top section. I mistakenly added it here, so let me look at that. No, this. And then um, it's good, and yeah, we can add this. And one single recipe uh, can connect with multiple category. At the same time, um, if you see the category, uh, this dinner may connect with the multiple uh, recipe. Uh, so we can give the connection end to end here. Then, then. And yeah, and then we can give the connection here. Yes, everything is fine now. And then let's see the next one. And if you check this page, and this is the page when we click on the uh, recipe and ideas, we will land. So here I can see the summer cooking and the meal type and then ingredient. Yeah, the ingredient we already added. And then diary and lifestyle. And uh, yeah, uh, fresh idea, Makase. Um, so here I'm going to um, add the meal type and then a fresh idea magazine uh, so if you see the listing here you can see the uh, brands or product produced by uh, produced for woolworth and then sponsored and then fresh ideas and then sponsored yeah here we can see the different types right so uh, we can take these type as a brand type so we have to create two types meal types and brand types so just go here and here Brand types and then meal types and okay and then brand type is if you click on the brand type single type is connected with uh, multiple products right the same time the multiple product may use the uh, single type so if you click on the fresh idea magazine you can see the multiple products okay ah yes so here you can see the multiple products so multiple products are tagged with the uh, brand type so we can use that and the next type is uh, this mail type so mains yeah uh, here i can see um, so now we have to find the types so here you can see fresh idea magazine uh, yes mm, here uh, the single recipe is connected with only one type it's not connected with multiple type here you can see it is single type but here i can see they have used the um pipe separated one but don't consider this and i'm going to use the single value so we can uh, give the connection as single value so first create the connection so now we check the brand type so here i can mention it's single and then the meal type what about meal type so here i can see main solid and the kids okay so the um, product may connected with a yes, single meal type because uh, we can't add the solids into main uh, we can add this recipe for only salad section we can't add this recipe for kids section or main section so it's the single yes we can add it here and what we missed and now uh, we can find all the types here and then one more thing is cousin type uh, if you see any of the pages i'm trying to show the uh, i'm trying to show the page and uh, um europe type and then you can add america type and then uh, um yes uh mika type 
and now we can add these here same type okay okay uh, and uh, the last one is asset asset is like uh, images so we have to create a asset here and asset okay uh, then the asset uh, we can use that uh, for recipe yes a single recipe may have four to five um, asset images the same images we can't use it in the different recipe right um yeah so the connection would be um if i have an image like sample oh sorry if i have an image uh, um carrot the same carrot i can use it for alvo and um, uh, some other uh, salads so the same image can be used by two different recipes so the recipes can be n and yeah it's n to n correct it's n to n yes so everything is looks good and uh, we have completed our domain model uh, but i didn't add any of the content of uh, terms here content of first we will explore about the basic terminologies in the content hub and then we will come again and we will add our types here